Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade Bible reading. And we are going to be doing week number 30 of the curriculum. And week number 30 is going to be about a review of the book that we wrote in the ministry titled The Overcomer's Secret Part 2. Um, this is going to be the second section of part two because we started part two last week So we are going to try to wrap up part two today and section two of the book is titled how to get inside Christ Jesus uh, Why is it important to get inside, inside Christ Jesus? Who is Christ Jesus? Well Christ Jesus is the Savior of the world Whom God sent into the world 2,000 years ago a man who was sent into the world to come and die for the sins of humanity uh, but the good news is he didn't stay dead he died and he was resurrected and he's the only living religious leader in other words he's the only person who died and was resurrected from the dead to tell us what life is like on the other side of eternity so that's the reason this Bible based curriculum talks about a resource that teaches students and their families on how to, to get inside Christ Jesus. And that's what section two of the Overcomer Secret is talking about. So last week we started talking about how to get inside Christ Jesus. We talked about certain critical attitudes that you gotta nurture even as a human being. And those attitudes are the ones we're gonna be talking about uh, today a little bit more extensively. We're gonna be talking about those attitudes like honesty and humility and faith because those attitudes are going to be important to help you to get inside Christ Jesus now when you get inside Christ Jesus that's going to be firstly like God having uh, a harvest of the Word of God which he expects to reap from every human being so when uh, as I'm talking to you right now if you're really honest and humble and you have faith you're gonna say yes I'm gonna give my life over to Jesus why? Because it's just the right thing to do and you get to go to heaven as a consequence of that. You don't give your life to Jesus, well, not a good deal because you don't want to die in that mode. Anybody that dies without knowing the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be a candidate for, the, for hell and the lake of fire. We don't want that for you. That's why we are giving you an opportunity to connect right now with the Lord Jesus, which is going to be the first harvest of the Word of God. When you get connected to the Lord, you are going to have a recreated human spirit as a consequence of that. What's the meaning of a recreated human spirit? A recreated human spirit is what being born again is all about. It's a connection between you and God known as righteousness or right standard relationship. This gift of righteousness is obtained by faith in Christ Jesus who paid a price with his blood to make it available for anyone who will believe to receive it. This gift of righteousness gives us access to Zoe, the life of God, which is the spiritual substance inside God, giving him all his attributes. And in prior years, before getting born again, we'd lost access to this Zoe. So we require access back to the life of God in order to start behaving like God and to overcome the vortex of sin and death. So that's what section three is gonna be all about. So hopefully you are going to get born again if you haven't gotten born again. If you've gotten born again and you believe Jesus already, go ahead and share that story with someone, someone else and tell them that Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, is the only living religious leader. And it makes logical sense to follow a living leader. All right. So let's go ahead and answer a few questions right now. According to the text, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus can operate outside Jesus Christ, true or false? Now that's going to be false because he has to be in Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus only operates inside Christ Jesus. All right, question number two. Believing on the Son of God gives man access to everlasting life. What is the name of this process? Well, the name of this process is going to be called the born again experience. That's when you get born again. When you believe that Jesus is the Lord, when you call him Lord, you call Jesus Lord and Savior. 
All right. Then you truly believe in Jesus. All right. So there's no point in believing in Jesus and I can call him Lord. I call him Lord with my words. I call him Lord, Lord with my actions. Then I am born again. Then I have access to everlasting life. And that's the answer over here. So the name of the process is called being born again. What's the solution to what's God's solution to man's sin and death problem? Well, God's solution to man's sin and death problem is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And that's going to be written in um, Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 to 2. So if you have your Bible, you can turn over there. Or if, you, if you've read the Overcomer's Secrets section 2, it's going to be right over there, all over that section for you as well. All right. Um, did you get something from it? I sure hope so. So please go ahead and read your section of the Overcomer Secret and read page number 68 to see the summary from your workbook over here. Well, I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 